Okay, so this is the one water. Um, the preamp is based on um, the Dirty Shirley uh, with some mods. And um, I'm just wiring up uh, the face inverter part here. And uh, this will be the, the power amp section. Get your rectification there. All right, so this is the chassis for the one water. Um, I just bend it in uh, in my vice. It was uh, it was okay. Uh, it turned out really like um, um, what do you say? Like I, it, the bend isn't really quite sharp, so I kind of like that. Um, just drill four holes for the whoops for the um, tubes, and I'm gonna mount the tube sockets. Okay, so I'm welding uh, the front and the back panels. Uh, it doesn't look that good right now, but I'm gonna grind everything down and uh, put a layer of paint on top of this. So it should be good. So I'm, I, I practiced on the back panel first, getting all the settings uh, okay. Now I'm gonna do the front panel because the back doesn't really matter that much, but I want the front to look good. So I'm doing like a couple of spots um, and uh, yeah, that should should do it. Okay. That is pretty good actually. Um, I am surprised how good this turned out. Um, it's fairly smooth and it's it's all straight. It's not like crooked in any way. And I do like that that curve uh, that just uh, happened because my 
my um, bending device here isn't uh, quite up to standard. So I do like that and it's it seems to be quite even and um, I do like the, the welds on the, the front panel better. Of course, it was a much cleaner welds. The back panel was, I was still kind of figuring out the speed and settings, uh, but it, it, it turned out okay uh, once I grind that down. Uh, and I'm gonna coat this um, with some paint anyway. I'm thinking white or something. Um, I do, however, I do like the brushed, I don't know if you can see this, the brushed uh, metal look. Uh, it's quite, it's quite cool. I do like brushed aluminium, brushed metal. Um, it's quite cool. Yeah, for this, um, for this build here, um, this is the board for this one. Um, this is my... This is another build, um, that's the old card from, from the JCM800, uh, but this, uh, this board, and that app, that's going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm working on the layout right now for that one, uh, but I can tell you it's going to be like a hybrid Mesa 2C Plus uh, JCM power amp, so it's basically your um, like late 80s, early 90s Metallica tones. Uh, it's it's pretty cool um, uh, sounding. What I've what I've done is I've I've uh, plugged my quad preamp into a JCM power amp, and it sounds it sounds pretty good. So I'm hoping this will be also quite good. Uh, never mind that board, like I said. But this this right here is the one watt board um, for this one. It um, it has a Dirty Shirley, modified Dirty Shirley uh, preamp and a one watt um, power section, uh, face inverter power section. I'm, I, I am waiting for some components here, but I'm going to start doing the, the basic wiring uh, because I can just uh, solder these in once they uh, arrive. I do have a power transformer for this one. It's a fairly big one for for this small amp, but it's um, I guess I guess that's the that's the only way to do it. Um, I do have right here, uh, right here. I have the. Uh, the choke and the uh, output transformer. Those are uh, quite cute, actually. This is the output transformer. Um, maybe like I don't know. I haven't I haven't done the um, the layout yet. I have I've, I've done it like um, when I. Oh, made the chassis but I haven't uh, decided on the final layout so um, probably uh, this will, will be my my input tube so I input right here and power transformer there so um, this is the power tube face inverter we one and two so Probably mount that here, maybe choke there, perhaps. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. And the board underneath. And um, yeah, I'm still amazed how good my first build sounds like. This this guy we right here in the corner. I haven't done a proper demo yet, but uh, I took this to rehearsal uh, this week, and uh, it is. Is phenomenal it, it is just what I want it is like the custom dream amp so I'm, I'm really happy about that um, I did add a few things um, it is basically a very hot rodded uh, JCM plexi uh, I do have a channel switch for um, stock plexi and and a I don't know um, Soldano inspired um 
Mesa kind of Marshall preamp. Uh, I never seen that design before, but I when I, I stumbled upon it when I um, uh, was trying all the components, and I, I really liked the sound. Uh, I have two gain control, one sort of like warm control and one cold. Um, yeah, um, bright and also uh, cathode uh, bypass caps uh, switch there. So one is bright and one is is a bit darker. Yeah, master volume. I can switch the uh, tone stack in and out. That's quite cool. And diode clipping there. And I have the presence. I can disengage the presence control on the back there, which is quite useful actually, uh, because um, when um, when engaged, it, it's like your classic presence. Um, but in a band situation, uh, I, I kind of preferred this amp without the presence. It, it gives it a bit more punch on, on louder volume. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, let's get back to wiring this guy up. All right. Okay, so what I've done so far um, off camera is uh, drilled all the holes and mounted the pots. Um, also power button and uh, input, choke, uh, output transformer and power transformer. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get, yeah, there we go. And on the back, I have power and just one, uh, it's gonna be one eight ohm output. So, so as you can see here, it's um, it's just it's just a mess right now. Uh, I'm gonna clean that up and um, uh, get the cables I need from the transformers and also solder in the last few components there and mount the board. All right, let's do that. Okay, I wired up the power supply. Um, yeah, like that. Um, I started just attaching some leads to the power tube. Um, I still have the heater um, wires um, left. I'm gonna do them last and and have them elevated um, and keep keep all the signal wires uh, close to the chassis. Um, I haven't figured out a way to uh, mount this yet. I probably need to order a clip or something. So I just glue this um, right now. Um, I'm only doing this when I'm testing it. So it's, <clears throat> it's fine. So yeah, um, next thing is to tackle this mess here. All right. Okay, so I'm almost done with the tone stack here. 
the presses. Um, I'm just going to solder the connection from the master volume to the board. Um, this is the input jack and the first gain. And uh, you can see the first first two gain stages. All shielded cable um, going across front and back. Yeah, it's almost done. Okay, let's finish it. Okay, here we go, first test. Quite loud for one water. Um, I'm maybe running the volume right now at like I don't know a quarter, perhaps maybe halfway. The gain is almost at full. I'm gonna try boosting it with a um, uh, my clean boost, my compressor pedal. Okay, here we go. So pretty cool. Um, it works and um, uh, it, it sounds pretty good actually. I, I might tweak this or just leave it alone because it's it's already uh, doing it for me. I mean, it, it has that sound. Um, I could try to mod like all the uh, maybe get it a hair brighter, but I don't know uh, because I'm, I'm pushing the the presence is almost at full and the treble is almost at, as full to get the sound. I like but I mean it's more versatile as it is so I might might leave it as is right uh, a cool build uh, didn't take that long I mean doing the chassis work was like maybe 50 60 percent of the of the time so if you get a, a finished chassis I mean it, it's fairly fairly quick all right I'm happy thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you like this stuff all right